to Fire Fan, my name's Karen Fire, and welcome back to another kind of next Styles video. Today I'm going to be teaching you everything to do with the fermentation barrel. So this is all the things you can make in there, how to make it, and what they do. First things first, if you actually want this barrel, you need to go to your survival tab and learn the brewing feat right here. So grab that and you'll be able to get this barrel out. Now all you require is a very good bar for a good drink here. <laughs> it's not 100% a requirement, it's just for levels. Um, but pretty much, we got our fermentation barrel and you're going to see there's a bunch of recipes in here that you can get. Just to bear in mind, some of these recipes are actually learnt by finding recipes throughout the kind of next as well, but I'm going to show you all that anyway, so that will be covered. But we're going to start with absinthe. This is a good uh, alcoholic drink that can also be used in making the Feast of Takedo. You make it with a purified water, 15 glowing goop, and one leavening agent. And then you just simply just craft it in there. You don't need no fuel or anything like that. But pretty much, that's how you do it. You get it crafting like that, it crafts up. There you go, you got your alcohol. Now this stuff is good at warming, and it's strong warming. So that means when you're in the cold, and you're pretty cold, it's gonna warm you up quite nicely. So just for a small example there. See, I'm extremely cold here. I'm gonna take my alcohol and you can see I'm warming up. I'm not extremely cold anymore, I'm very cold. And now I've changed to cold, which means my character can heal in the cold zone. And you can even see, it does say I'm tipsy, but that one actual absinthe has not made me have a drunken screen. Which means I can take it, be tipsy, and be just fine. There'll be no blurring at the screen, and now you can see I've moved to soothing as well in the cold. I'm not cold anymore, I'm the perfect temperature, so I am naturally healing throughout the actual cold area. So this is pretty good stuff to warm you up. And you can see my gear is not that special either. We do have some cold protection here and there, but it's not enough since we had extreme cold. So, this does this quite well. That's pretty simple. Our next drink is actually ale. Now this is a refreshing beverage made with one purified water, ten hops, and five leavening agent. And again, simple craft. This stuff can also be used in the recipe of the Feast of the Jebel Sag, so it's interesting to have if you want to make the feasts. But pretty much you're going to take the drink, and it's going to cool you down, which is really cool. Bear in mind though, it's chilling light, so if you need hardcore chilling, then that's not going to do it. It's just going to make sure, like, it's going to knock you down one from being hot. So if you're just normally hot, it will take you down to soothing. So that's kind of how it goes with this chilling light stuff, and it's pretty great that way. Our next recipe is cactus wine. Now this one is really simple to make, and you pretty much could do it early on. So it's a uh, purified water, 30 plant fiber, and 5 leavening agent. Once it's made, you can put it in your inventory, and as you can see, it's very similar to the ale, it's just a little bit cheaper in some aspects. So, chilling light, which means it's going to cool us down very, very slightly in hot temperatures, and make us a little bit tipsy. <laughs> Our next recipe is desert wine. This will take purified water, 5 desert berry pulp, and 5 leavening agent. Now, if you don't know how to get desert berry pulp, you need an actual fluid press, and all you need to do is pop desert berries in there and you can see that it's going to craft us up some really nice desert berry pulp. You can see it makes three at a time, so five for free, so it's pretty cheap to actually get this stuff, so you don't need to worry about that too much. And if you need desert berries, of course, you need to go and farm bushes in the desert. But apart from that, that will give us our desert wine, and then we can have a look at it right here. You can see it gives us just chilling, so that's just a normal chill effect there, so if you're hot, you can just chill yourself down a bit with a bit of this wine. So there we go, we are cooling down. So instead of chilling light, this is kind of like the next one up from chilling light, so it's just like normal. So it will give you slightly more coverage than the rest of them to be able to cool yourself down. As you can see here, I'm in a warm-ish kind of spot, but it's just soothing me right here, so we're pretty good that way. Our next recipe is fire water. You can get this a lot from frills dropping it mostly but here we go here's the recipe a purified water 10 brimstone and five leavening agent now this stuff is quite nice stuff for heating up it gives a nice warming effect and uh, it's good for the cold zone really we just get it out of our barrel and we can check this out 
you can see warming strong so that means in the cold it's going to warm us very very well our next recipe is the highland wine you can make this with a purified water five highland berry pulp and five leavening agent as like before you can make the highland berry pulp in the fluid press just needing the highland berries instead of the desert berries this time but there we go, we got our drink, and let's have a look at what it's going to do for us. We can see here, it just gives us a normal warming effect. And that's pretty much it, so when you're in the highlands, it's a little bit chilly maybe. It's just going to give you that normal warming up, so you should be pretty much fine. It's only for a light, like, like a light effect, as you see I'm hot from soothing right now, so I'm warming myself up again. Our next thing we're making is the honeyed wine. Now this stuff is quite different from the rest of them. We literally craft it with one purified water. 20 honey and 5 leavening agents. We make it up like that and once you've got it you can see it doesn't do any heating or anything like that however this drink is interesting because it actually regenerates your health. It might make you a little bit tipsy as you can see it's not giving me no screen effect but it is giving me a little bit of healing there. Next we're moving on to our mead so this will take you a purified water, 2 plant fiber, 5 honey and 5 leavening agent. Make that up in the fermentation barrel this stuff can also be used in several Sumerian meals, so that's the Sumerian meal, the cooked pork dinner, and the mold brew. Pretty much once you've got your mead, you're going to see it gives you a warming effect, so again it's one of those you use in the cold area that's going to warm you up slightly. Better than the light warming, about medium uh, effect on the strength of it. Our next recipe is ficus rum. This is actually made from the orange ficus plants that you can find at the bottom of the waters in the Nubie Lake. So this is going to take you 1 purified water, 10 ficus and 5 leavening agent. Then you just craft that up. Once you've got it, you can see it's another one of these warming drinks that you can use. So there you go, it's giving us a warming effect that's going to keep us nice and braced and tasty in the cold areas. Our next recipe is resin wine. So you get purified water for this, 10 resin and 5 leavening agent. Craft that up in the fermentation barrel. You can see this one actually gives us warming light. So if you only need a tiny little bit of warming out there just to get your buff to soothing, then you can consume this and it's going to heat you up just a little bit to you about hot. Next we're moving on to our shroom beer, this is 1 purified water, 10 shroom amanita and 5 leavening agent. Craft that up, it is a little bit of a funky beer but you know. Once you've got that you can see it's another one of these drinks that gives you a light warming. And lastly we have our wine, this requires both a desert berry pulp and a highland berry pulp for this one. It's going to take you 1 purified water, 5 desert berry pulp, 5 highland berry pulp and 5 leavening agent then craft that up. This is a nice drink that gives you chilling light so you can consume it and it's going to lightly chill you in hot areas so you could be brought back down to the soothing temperature of the area or just below that depending on what your temperature is in the current zone you're in. So that's pretty much all that really does and remember with all of these different drinks they do quench your thirst by a certain amount. It's not very much but it is a, a nice decent amount I'd say. Now if you're wondering why and where these certain recipes are, if you can't see them in the barrel, that means you need to go and pick up some specialist brewing. So for the resin wine, fire water and shroom beer, you need to go and pick up specialist brewing too. I'd say it's the hardest to find out of all of them due to the kind of smoky area around the obelisk. So if you just crawl around this obelisk at the front, you're going to see a very hidden book. You hook E on it, you crumbled note, there you go, Specialist Brewing 2. So for map reference, this is right on the tiny little island in the Mounds of the Dead. And if you're wondering about the Specialist Brewing 1, this is required to make ficus rum, honeyed wine and absinthe. You need to actually go to the Dogs of the Desert camp. Luckily it's quite simple to find, it will be right on this chair in the corner of the Dogs of the Desert camp. And you can click E on it. And that will give you Specialist Brewing 1. It is quite well protected though, but you can essentially run from the back around and then go all the way around and skip all of the actual NPCs here. So bear that in mind. And for a map reference, you can see I'm right here, literally on the corner of the dogs, of the desert camp, so the den. I'm sure you noticed as well, some of our recipes required hops. If you don't know where to get hops, you actually need to go to the highlands. This is one of the actual best spots for hops and it's these very green looking bushes here. So this area is right here near the chaos mouth just there. 
I'm sure you also noticed for all of the recipes you pretty much need leavening agent. This is another Highlands thing you can find. So just along from the hops near the other side of Chaos Mouth. Right here you can find some. They are pretty much everywhere in the Highlands but there you go. You can get some leavening agent out of these just by picking or you can use a sickle on them. But there you go, that's what you pretty much need to find for the alcohol recipes and such. So I hope this video helped you out knowing about your beers and your wines and your meads etc. They are very much about temperature control so if you've been having trouble with the temperature in your area or anything like that make sure to check these out and if you need to know anything more about Conan Exiles I do plenty of guides on this actual game so please go down into the playlist down below and you can seek out many 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 informational videos about many things about this game. So. But anyway, thank you for watching, I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!